I didn't know, I mean, her coming on the show, I didn't think Cynthia Bailey needed to come on the show to find love, but I thank God that she found me and I found her. And uh, months later, I can say that I'm in love, Steve. Huh? I'm in love. Oh, yeah. I'm in love with this lady. Yeah. This girl. So thank yeah. you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now. Yeah. Now. Wait, wait, wait. But with that said, you just can't take all the credit, Steve, now, because you have been like, I did that. That was all me. Now, we did have to kind of work this thing out, but he was very consistent. He was very consistent throughout the whole. Because I know what I want. Time. <laughs> and he just. <laughs> I know what I want, and I knew that. <laughs> I knew that me down. you were I'm supposed kidding. to be in my life. And Steve, I gotta thank you because I heard that uh, she was actually going to choose the other. No, guy. she didn't. Not. Yes, she I was. was. Not. No, no, don't, don't come she on was here with choose that. Choose the other guy, no, Mike. Right. Hey, Mike, Mike. I remember this. She didn't even want to pick you. Was. No, because you. No, you, were, like, you was gonna up. pick the dude. <laughs> No, yeah, see, look, good. he's a good brother. Attorney. Good brother, good brother. I mean, from Atlanta. Yes, great So guy. she figured, you know, this he in LA. I Atlanta, live in Atlanta. She was working with me. I live in Atlanta, Steve. I keep telling women, your soulmate, it don't matter, this is man, where you live. That's true. And I told her, I could fly her out first class. My mama live in Atlanta. My brother <laughs> live in Atlanta. My brother live five minutes away from her, Steve. Oh, no. So I'm One always in away. Atlanta. Yes. Really? Yes. 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 So that's. Now, okay, but Cynthia, let me ask you this. When, when did it click? When did you know that Mike was the guy for you? You know what? He, like I said, consistency is very important to me. Like, he just always, like, even when I wasn't really totally focused on him, because I was kind of seeing other people, and I wasn't ready. I didn't, I really didn't know if I was really ready to be in anything exclusive. Like, she was, was delaying her blessing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on, Mike. Yeah. She was... Yeah. And I will say, you know, another big thing for me was when we started to be serious about dating, when he got a chance to come to Lake Bailey and start, you know, spending more time there with me. Because it is a long distance relationship. I yeah. still live in Atlanta. We have a two week rule now. Yep. And it's been working out. He's pretty busy with like what's, the what's, Clippers what's, and everything. What's, what's a two week rule? Either he has to come to me or I have to come to him. Yeah. Got and, two weeks, yeah. that's and it. And FaceTime yeah. is a long distance relationship's best friend. It really is. You can do a lot of things on FaceTime. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> now, all right, let, let me bring this subject up because I've kind of heard that both of you have kind of expressed some doubts about ever getting married again. So, I mean, now nah, I just heard this man on national TV say he in love, so, <laughs> you know, we grown. So I'm just asking you, is, is marriage a possibility now? Is it on the table? You know, we too old for this oh, boyfriend and girl. Right on the table, right there. Huh? It's, all, it's on the table. Huh? It's, it's gonna happen. <laughs> it's gonna happen. I mean, I, I know that I'm, I was open to marriage when I came here before, and uh, now she just kicked the door wide open. We had a conversation, and I said to you, and I remember you really got on to me. I was like, no, I, I just don't think I would ever do it again. And you said, don't say that. You can't say that. You, you're the kind of woman that, that men would want to be with, yeah. that would want to marry. And I was like, well, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be the one there, because I just can't do it no more. You were like, don't ever say that. So, um, Steve, we're going to make that a reality. We're going to make that a reality. We're going to do that. I mean, I do want to marry her one day. I mean, you didn't just propose, right? You I guess that was, a, that was a pre-pre-proposal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, we got to get this ring. Yeah, the ring got to be right. Yeah. And she did already tell me, because we've been talking about that already, and I said, well, I wanted to make sure it's the right ring. Like, well, I don't even want a big no, diamond. I'm like, like that. you're not going to have me going out there the right giving man, you a little bit the of right ring. a small... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is really okay. good. heard that, right? Give me the right man. <laughs> this is really good. I want to say thank you to Cynthia Bailey and Mike Hill for being in here. Everybody, tune in to The Real Housewives of Atlanta on Sundays at 8 p.m. on Bravo. This is working out pretty good. <laughs> chill. Hashtag yeah. chill. <laughs> See here. We'll be right back. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're going to enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.